Hello everyone. Wow, I really look like shit today. But that's okay. Um I pretty much look like that any, any day. But I have a cute little kitty here. Yeah, she came to sleep in my lap while I'm streaming, right? Yeah. And Beppo doesn't like it that I'm talking to her. She's very jelly. I hear you. I'm ignoring you. You were bad. Yeah, Beppo got super jealous of Poppy getting um, food and he bit her in the leg. So she was limping a little bit. So Beppo is now being ignored for a little while. Poppy, you have something to say? Hi. There we go. Yeah, but Poppy, I think. You can go sleep now on the couch or on your chair. Here, I'm gonna remove this so everybody can see the cute little puppy sleeping. There we go. Good puppy. Alrighty. Um, yeah, last time we left off pretty close to the end, I would say. If we managed to finish um, uh, Uncharted 1, uh, fast. We are gonna just continue with Uncharted 2. Oh, that's a pretty loud siren. Okay, um, let go. Um, I don't want to switch at all. Alrighty. Save game. Because apparently I just left last time. We're at 90%, so we should be pretty close to the end. Alright, last time we were running from the Palmer. Oh god, I, I don't play at my PlayStation for a weekend and I already... And I already suck, is what I wanted to say. There. Is there more? No. Straight in the knee. So, the first thing to aim for is the head. If you can get the head... Then you hit the balls, and if you can't hit the balls, you hit the knee. It is known. Seriously? Took a full blow from a grenade and you can't even be bothered? Ugh. Oh. Okay, yeah, of course. These naked guys are much more dangerous than the guys in full fucking armor. Crazy. But yeah, we need this. Oh no, we don't need that. We don't have any ammo for that. We're just gonna be... Are you fucking serious? And then I have to do the entire thing again. Okay. The knee, the ball. I can oh yeah, I can shoot through that. Good. 
there. Oh, uh, what do I have? This thing looks good. Oh, nice! He reacted that I shot him in the foot. That's cool. Oh, no. Can you please just not? Thank you. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna let that Palmer eat the guy. And then... There. Okay. Then we're gonna swap the shotgun. Wow, I can't aim with a controller. There we go. Finally. Fucker's dead. That's good. Three shots seems to be good for this. Ah, uh, I hear. Okay, this will work. I hear something. Actually, the music is pretty loud. I, I can't really hear much. He just not gonna come down. Okay. Well, too bad he fought them off just to die to this. Ooh, dragon sniper. Noise. I need more ass. I mean, I need more ammo.
Yeah, they just swipe you once and you're gone. Ah, okay. The, they spawned me here. I was slightly concerned I might have to, you know, do the entire thing again. Yes, I'm trying to um, win a fist fight against a soldier. And the last one. Uh, this one. Better. Much better. That's it. Oh shit, he's still here. I thought he was dead. Now oh, you're dead. Uh, nope. Do I have to go towards the sniper? I think so. Yeah. Is that a dragon sniper? Yeah. I have a feeling though now I'm gonna need a shotgun. Where's the shotgun? That's not a shotgun. There's a shotgun. I knew it. That area was way too open. Alrighty, now nice. I'm gonna pick up that. Let's go!
just climbing into the dark, apparently. Chapter 20. Race to the rescue? Sully, are you there? Damn it. Sully, come in. Oh, thank God, mate. Where are you? Heading your way. They've got Elena. We have to stop them. Yeah. I've got problems of my own. Bastards have me pinned down outside the church. Almost there. Alrighty, so save Sully, then save Elena, and then get the fuck out. I was gonna say, I think I remember this area, and then I was like, oh, of course I remember this area. I was here before, we we're just returning to where Sully was. To where we left Sully, I mean. Well, this visibility is absolutely crap. Nice. Don't let him get away. Who, what? Oh. An old man and a, I don't know, adolescent are able to take on an entire army. Wow. Are they coming from somewhere else now? No. Okay, yes. Awesome. I, I kicked that guy's ass while he was trying to fire a grenade, so he dropped the grenade on his butt. I like it how Sully says, oh no, but then doesn't bother, you know, moving away from the grenade. Oh no, I guess I'm gonna die. What they're dealing with. What are you? I don't know how, but that statue destroyed the whole colony, and it killed the Germans too. Whoa, whoa, come again? There's no time. We've got to get to the church. Uh, let's go to the church. That is not the way to the church, that's the church. <laughs> they see me rolling.
and just die. Don't cross the beams. Oh wait, wrong franchise. Ah, I see you. All I need is a little bit of knee. the ammos. Thank you. kind of reminds me of you know that old school NES game where you had to shoot the the criminals ah crap too many bullets too little i don't know Help. Luck. that we got the first round of idiots. Maybe? Uh, I don't know actually. gonna like throw grenades everywhere. Okay, I guess this is oh nope. Oh they started coming from behind? Nice. This is over. Come on, Sully. 
Jesus, that was a lot of murder. Or, you know, a treasure hunter. Where the fuck is Sully, though? Ah, right. Sully is here. That's cool. Wh wh why are you there? The passage is here. Um, the passage was here. Um, do I have, like, to do the Do I need to make Sully move or something? Oh! We had to look at the table. Oh, this passage! I thought they were referring to the other passage. Well, that doesn't look like a passage. That looks like a trapdoor. Okay, well, bye. You wanna tell me what the hell's going on? No. Drake didn't want to get the treasure off the island, Sully. He was trying to stop it from leaving. What? It's cursed or something. Oh, Nate, for God's sake. Look, I know it sounds crazy. You just gotta trust me. This looks like a nice open area to get attacked in. Or, or not, I guess. I mean, I'm fine with not being attacked as well. Oh, yup. Very pretty. 10 out of 10. Would get cursed by it again. You two should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Yeah. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. You are going to die. Is it gonna be like the Indiana Jones moment, you know, where the guy that was greedy like the takes the wrong chalice and then dies? Lies inside. <laughs> Open it. Yeah, apparently that's exactly how it's gonna be. Ah. Uh, oh <sighs> stupid people. Imagination. <laughs> the 
Navarro. That thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. Gotta get lost that one. Is he gonna use it like as some sort of bioweapon? Rule over the world. You are so pathetic. All of you scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Levantalo! Oh no, what the hell is that? Oh, God. Run! Uh, uh. Jesus, where are those things? It's the Spaniards, Sully. They never left. My God, if that thing gets off the island, you gotta stop him. I'll cover you from here. Okay. How the fuck do I stop? Oh. Uh, what? I thought I can just jump down, but apparently not. Never mind. How is that guy covering me if I have to shoot everything by myself? Hydrating. Stretching. Oh. Sully, your shotgun sucks. Off he goes. And we're gonna probably end the game on the boat the same way that we started it. Oh my god. Elena, my love. So it's gonna be again me versus um, an entire army.
one. Alrighty, give me all your ammo. Okay, so I just have to wait until he does his three shots. Yikes. And then we start from the first... Come on, peek! Ah. There we go. Ah, oh, no, there's more of them, there's more of them! I didn't think there would be more of them. Panic shooting, panic shooting. Let's go, next stage where I have to do up. Oh shit! <sighs> oh, that point is here. It's nice. Oh, I guess I cannot break this shit now. Okay. Dang. Do it again.
Ah! I thought he already shot his uh, sniper shot. Okay, number one's done. Alrighty. Oh, he's running again. Beautiful. Nowhere to hide now. Is he gonna take Elena hostage? What? He actually did hide. Oh, and there he is. Beautiful. Bye, rifle. I am a little bit uncertain what Son of a bitch indeed. Okay. One, two. One, two. Okay. Okay, I cannot hide anywhere. Do I just have to rush? Okay, so I just have to rush to him. Take his shotgun. Take his shotgun. Easy? Was I no. Oh, I was playing on normal. There we go. I guess we finished the game. you to take the fucking shotgun. Adios, asshole. GG easy. No, no, GG normal. It was normal mode. Where did Sully get a boat? Quite a day. Yeah, yeah, save the world, triumph over evil. <laughs> Pretty typical. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a shame we're leaving empty handed, though. Oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. No smooch. Thanks. Yeah. Now kiss. Now kiss. You two got a funny idea of romantic. Fuck you, Sully. Sully, 
Wow, you you look like hell. You should see the other guys. <laughs> Got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. Oh, <gasps> old. Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch. Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get your story. No, uh, that's all right. Now the other stories. You still owe me one. <laughs> I'm good for it. Aww. Okay. Cute. Cute. Um. Yeah. So we're done with the first game. We're gonna go straight into the second one. Um, picking off, I should probably change your category. Uncharted. Ooh. Um, yeah, so I see why this game was super popular when it came out. It's basically Tomb Raider, only without Lara Croft, but with a different character that is also kind of charismatic in a way. I mean, your typical. Indiana Jones type of character, so pretty boilerplate um, personality. But I, I guess the, the controls were okay for its time. If I remember correctly, this was released on PlayStation 4, like at the start of PlayStation 4. Or maybe, no, uh, PlayStation 3. Um, but yeah, all, overall I think I would give it like a 7 out of 10. It has way too many shooting shooty sequences and too little exploration, but I guess I'm just spoiled by Tomb Raider. Alrighty, so we did that. Let's go to the title menu. Start Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. We're going straight into the second game. Campaign or continuous speedrun? Of course I want the campaign, but also options, let's see. Subtitles, English. Alright, new game. Let's let's go. Normal. Metal Helsinger is on uh, on sale on Steam. I have too many games right now, so hey. What's going on? I think that Nathan Drake's uh, face is modeled after that There's guy, the, the main character from Firefly. Energy. At least he reminds me of him. Hi, oh, Drake. I guess you're wondering, how did I get here? Oh well. Okay, I guess not this way. Let's try it the other way. As Eclipse said last time, incredible upper body strength. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay, but oh no! Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Press X to jump. Uh. Nope. Oh my god. Why am I in a super ancient it's okay. It's okay. train? Oh, this is giving me so much anxiety. I hate heights. No! Oh, lucky. Oh yeah, okay, the controls are still dog shit. Heights are fun. Mm, when I'm not on them, yes. You know those moments when the game is just exaggerating with... Uh, all the things that are happening to stop him, yet he seems still... He still seems to find a way. To not die. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, and all of that he's doing with a bloody wound. I, I am sick and tired of this climbing section. Can we move on? No? Am I gonna run? RUN! JUMP! Yes. Ah, yes. Bye! Oh. Yeah, that's what excessive drinking does to you. You wake up on a train that is about to fall off a cliff with a bullet wound in your stomach. Hate when that happens. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Harry Flynn! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Istanbul. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. So instead of being okay. a treasure hunter, now he's a thief? Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. Bob's and not my uncle. Is worth all this trouble. His I name is not Bob. I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it's
It sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some mm. collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? I'm a bit rusty. Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 mm -hmm, passengers mm -hmm. and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the sight of the lost fate. Ah, there we go. Okay, now, now it makes more sense. So you're not just gonna be a thief. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be an epic thief. Eh. Seems like it. Everything went according to plan. Ah, uh, yes. That is what happens when you come home drunk and forget to sleep in your bed covered and you wake up and suddenly you're in the middle of Antarctica. First treasure, yay! Uh, happens to all of us, yeah, I know. That's how you know you're an adult. <laughs> eh. Open this. Yay! It's burning. I'm gonna be warm. Uh, oh, that was not the goal. Never mind. Yay, a gun! Just randomly sitting there. Ah, right. Need to shoot it. Uh, of course it's locked. It's always locked. Oh, oops. Sorry. That was a nasty way. Yeah, that, that was a nasty way to go. Oh, that way. Okay. Of course, let's climb our way out with a bullet wound in our stomach. Oh no, oh no. Ugh. 
Yikes. Are you knocked out? Hello? Yes, he is. Time for another nap. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And miss the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> yeah. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just this disappear. Be... Mm. Together, this time. Mm -hmm. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? No, don't zoom. Don't zoom on the fucking picture. Okay, there we go. Eh, this way? Get up. <laughs> kind of deserve that. Doink. Maybe you should have brought a jacket if you were going to a very cold place. Just saying. Oh look, a random artifact stuck in the snow. Is that a dagger? Is that a ritual dagger? Oh yeah. That was four sure months ago. Interesting. Feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, no. they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Fucking thief. This way. Mm -hmm. 
So what do we do if they switch the patrols? We figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm uh, adaptable. Fumble. Adaptable. You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> no. Okay. This one you don't here. look like somebody I should have faith in. All right, remember, the that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Bye, Harry. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. She's gonna double cross him, isn't she? You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Nope. I love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy. It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Can you just... Ah, there we go. Hey. Yay, I magnetically attached myself to that wall. See? Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? Uh, what? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. These jokes are bad. Here it comes. Thanks. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. Love getting into the sewer. We're good. Ah, there's a treasure over there, so it's shining. Ye. Got a random hidden coin treasure that was just lying around in the sewer. Hold. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. What's this? Nothing. Eh. All right, this is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right, there's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it then. Well. Ooh. Huh. Yeet. More treasure. Um. I'm pretty sure that is something that some kid made with Play-Doh. I was a shot of file. Where would I be? Probably downstairs, right? Eh. Like. Oh no, maybe it would go up there again. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna go back up. 
Nee. Can I go in this room? No. Can I jump somewhere else? Probably not. Can I? Oh! Wow, there was a ladder right behind me. And look at Harry just like, I don't know, eating candy down there. Nope, let go of the ladder. Nope. Uh, I guess. Eh. This seems like too much trouble for a robbery, honestly. There should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? Ah, of course, a ring. All about the content. Locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait! There's an alarm. That's new since last time. Ah, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. Is it it's coincidentally be right behind us? At all. Junction box. Uh, where is the red going there? Da, da, da. Oh. There. That ought to do it. That that's it. Apparently, how you disarm traps is just turn them off. It's honestly genius. Shit. I got him. They just had one guard. Seems unlikely. But okay. There's the tower. Yeah. But we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard. Through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. Okay. Whee! Get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. I bet these guys need to work out so much. Uh, a cool name for a new religion. Constantinopolis. Gece vardiyasında çalışmaktan nefret ediyorum. Haklısın abi. Hiçbir 
Hiç iyi olmuyor. Bazen o kadar canım sıkılıyor ki yanık kalmakta zorluk çekiyorum. Yeah, exactly. It's the religion of consent. Come on, what are you waiting for? No worries. Okay, we're almost there. Go right, you go left. Damn it. Damn it. We're almost there. Go right, you go left. Both the sleep. Nah, I didn't see that guy there. I thought that was the other one. We're almost there. Go right. You go left. Easy peasy. I love it how, you know, Drake just has absolutely no okay. mental um, this up. Sneak right under. Whoa. Whoa. problem after murdering like Almost an entire civilization in the first game. You want to get this one? Wait here. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Oh, wrong side. Okay. Why are the boxes so close to the alarms? The only thing that is missing is like a neon arrow that points like, turn me off here. Oh, that's the fountain. <sighs> Are you serious? Is it because that asshole just... Oh shit, he can see me there. 
This guy goes to sleep. And this guy goes to sleep. Oh shit, there's too many of them. Okay, bye. Oh, I can get his gun. Oh, I cannot get his gun. Never mind. Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. Usually the last one that you check. Which bloody window? And he knows exactly which bloody window to go in. Oh, that's a lot of... Time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. So he has problems with shooting people now. Unscathed. Unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Bruh. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? You know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I guess I was too far away. But the good thing is I have infinite amount of tranquilizer ammo, apparently. Why is there a random part? Yeah, that that... Work. Yeah, also, this place support. seems pretty dirty for a muse museum. Like, why is there paper and... Uh, you know what? Nah. So oh, thank you for the sub, Alex. Oh! Convenient. Oh, yours. Hey, I'll hydrate. See? See? Ah. Eee! And stretch. And... Uh, oh. Hey! Let you cut it! Yeah, I saved your... Thanks, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I saved your life and you just didn't say shit.
I would want to take the elevator here as well. Nope, not here. I just awkwardly groped this wall. Can I just jump over? I should be able to just jump over, yes. Oh no, I'm back again here. Breaking your neck after falling the jump would have been more awkward. True. Can I jump over there? Yes! Now oh, let's... Oh, hi! Where do we go? Oh, through there. Okay, never mind. I didn't see it the first time. Alright, there's the tower. Getting close, huh? Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. <laughs> eh. Don't look down. Maybe you should not sing while they're trying to be sneaky. And nobody. Oh shit! Oh shit! Gotcha! Pull me up! You put on weight, pull me up! I'm getting Assassin's Creed vibes here. Yeah, just not as many bullshit collectibles. Wee. Okay, I can get this. Yeah. Uh, once again, you're up. Alrighty, I'm immune to collectibles. Ah, yeah, you're the type of person that is like, oh, question mark, what question mark? I didn't see anything, I'm just gonna straight go for the main game. Bye, bitch. There's a guy below you. There's a guy below you. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hmm. Maybe I can climb from here. <sighs> yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. Rude. I wanted to enjoy the view. It does look quite nice. Ah, yeah, again. Upper body, right upper body strength of Superman, I guess. Nearly there. Yeah, but why are the lights still on? Chloe will take care of it, don't worry. Whee! Fucking hell. And off I go to prison. Wait, is there maybe something here that I can pick up? Oh, oh, it's actually another way too. Oh, never mind, that was apparently the way to go. Mm. 
I like it how this tranquilizer is just Can't instantly work. The tower lit up like that. What the hell Can you tell a bit of the story what's happening right now? Why are you getting shot at? Who are you and why? My name is Nathan Drake. I used to be a treasure hunter, but apparently now I'm a thief. Um, this guy is my friend who wanted to recruit me to steal some lantern that has no value, but it could have instructions on how to find the 13 lost ships of Marco Polo and the treasures inside it. So now we are breaking into a museum or a castle. Oh, no, I think it was a museum's uh, royal palace or something like that, where that lamp is being held. And this is like one of the most guarded places ever, and we are just going around Ladies trying first. to find the <laughs> lamp and steal it. Here we go. Whee! Is the lantern green? Yes. Actually, it is. It's Istanbul. Oh, there in it Turkey. is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked. That thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Wait, why does he have... Voila. He? <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Oh, shit. And there's nothing on it. Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? Man. Let me see that. Our yep. ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. Take if a fucking picture and leave. Place. Yes, where is your smartphone, goddammit? It's all so very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Rude. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. Want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? What a piece of shit. Or the, okay. Oh no no no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Alright, alright. Thank, thank, thank. Yeah, there it is. Are they still following me into the sewers? Yup. Right. 
Use your head, Nate. Use your head. How the hell do I get out of here? Just follow the clearly marked way. <laughs> See ya, suckers. Mark was poo. Exactly. Somebody just took poo and, and wrote uh, arrows. Yep, there we go. That worked out. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money and a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to women. Fair yep. enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. <laughs> the last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not gonna listen to me. Screw this. Nate! They found the ships in Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together. The nutcase? I have no idea who those right. people are. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like mm -hmm. a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue. Larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. Mm -hmm. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You mm -hmm. give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that mm -hmm. can be arranged. Mm -hmm. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. And off we go. Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <laughs> Okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Is there anything shiny? No. Oh, what's that? Here it is. Oh. I also left the detonator for you. How about losing the top and an explosion? Yeah, so, so just like you do this and then an explosion all is right. behind you. Like, what are you gonna focus on? Set. The titties or Don't the boom booms? 
touch the button. This one? <laughs> Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> They'll never know what hit them. Just be careful. The Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Keep an eye out for patrols. Mm -hmm. If you say it like that, that means the patrol is going to be around the like corner. A in church. You brought a hooker to church? Why not? Turn around. Please turn around so I can kill you. I said quiet, mate. That's the other end of line. Never mind, I'm gonna die anyways. There we go. It's finished. Okay, fuck it. Let's do this again. They spotted me. There. Oh, crap, there's more. Better kill the whole camp, exactly. I, I don't I don't need to, you know, use the sneaky tactics if I just murder them. Looks like we can swing across there. <laughs> Maybe you can. Alright, hold on, Grandpa. See if I can find another way up. Grandpa. Do I get to push this? No. That looked like it's something to be pushed. Why am I... Oh. Oh. Why can't I... Okay, I guess I'm weak. I, apparently I'm strong enough to hang on to things forever, just with my upper body strength, but I'm not strong enough to push up thing. Okay, where, where, where do I go now? Up there? No. Okay, wait, let me just glitch myself here, no? Uh. Where is Sally? Oh, there he is. Hello! Um... Maybe if I shoot the rock, I'm gonna scare it into submission. Oh. Oh! What? What did I do differently? Ah, perfect. Thanks, kid. 
Head this way. Nate, you should be approaching excavation site one by now. They should have been back by now. Shit, we've been spotted. Take them out fast. We can't let them send word back to camp. I think I killed everyone. You should be getting close to the first camp. I've planted four more charges in there, but you're going to have to clear the place out before you can arm them. Oh, whoops. I have to clear the place out? I thought we didn't want to do anything violent. Oh, what is this? Beginner fortune hunter. doing oh okay yeah I'm doing good thank you we finished uh, Uncharted 1 earlier today. Um, so I decided to go straight into the second game. Your friend is just having a nap, that's fine. Turn around. Turn around, bright eyes. Come on, turn around. Oh well. There is someone here. Oh, never mind. I guess it's murder time. Okay, guns in this uh, in the second game actually do have some recoil. Wow. Apparently bulletproof vests don't help against uh, a revolver. Entire military camp against an old guy and an adolescent. Well, I don't think it's an adolescent, but he's a young, young man. Oh.
Ow. Jesus Christ, I have so much luck. Let's arm, uh, okay, apparently I don't go there, maybe over here. Oh, oh look, he's just having a nice path. Are you, uh, no. Sully, can you like boost me up? On, kid. Quit screwing around. We haven't armed all the charges yet. Armed explosives. Where? Are they in the boxes? No. Oh, there it is. Oh god. Still got to arm three of the charges. There should be only two left. Anything blinking green? There. One more, and we're out of here. Blinking green, blinking green, where is something blinking green? Ah, no, too much light. Still gotta arm the explosives, remember? Is there more? Alright, all the way here. The Okay, that's all of them. Now let's go pay Mr. Lazarvich a visit. <laughs> Can't reach us. Come on over here, I'll give you a boost. Come on, gorgeous, jump up. Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> you got a great ass, Sully. Uh, thanks. Here you go, kid. Great Bye. ass. Oh, can I climb up must here? Must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far in. Not you. that way. Ah! Take the fucking ladder. Eh? Here? Yeah, like that. Uh. Whoa. Okay, cool. Looks deserted. Anything here? Nope. Is down again. Uh, the damn thing is always breaking. Oh uh, no, it is down again. So we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. Well, not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Mm. So much for that. Intruder! Hell yeah! 
Ah, I like it that they're waiting. Oh! Apparently I have better martial arts training than the military personnel. It's fine. Always follow the hose. It's like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget that, are you? I think I see the camp up ahead. Me. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no, need, no need. I am surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Oh, some fool left a sniper rifle up here. Careful, Nate. Looks like they left a couple of sentries behind. Okay, kid. It's showtime. Bare knuckle brawler. Nice. Oh no, don't fall down. Nope. Oof. Okay, they didn't fall down. I many did. Did he hear me? No. It's just a I guess I need to remove all of them. Did I get everyone? I think I got everyone. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> yeah, they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport. Conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. That's supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Just take them and leave. 
It was with great Don't read them sorrow here. that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo was he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. I'm great. Oh, crap. Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Great. Well, that's convenient. Oh, I threw it in the water. It threw them. Catch. Did I? Yep. I accidentally threw it back at me. Beautiful. Sully, can you, like, help? Oh shit. Okay, where the fuck do I go? Oh!
Okay, I guess now we finally run away. Uh, there we go. Oh. I made myself a little bridge. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, hydrate, stretch. Hydrate. And... Rich. Oh. Um. Uh, alrighty. Wait. Is there something shiny? No. Sully, look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Look at these stones? Oh, these stones. Okay, yeah. I thought it was a tree. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, it's the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Wow, oh, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. Um, flashlight, maybe? Down this way. Ah, oh, there we go. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ooh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. Looks like they're all that way. Black they must teeth. have taken refuge here during the tsunami. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of clue around here. <laughs> Bats. Nice. Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipped. Oh, that's the blue resin that we saw in the... More resin? Yeah. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. It's like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. Apparently, everywhere, because they are everywhere. Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. Moves a little. Sully, help me out. We go again with the pushing. I think I hurt myself. <laughs> I think I hurt myself, he said after spending ten minutes shooting at people. The trail leads in here. Oh, man. More bodies. Oh my god. You know, maybe I'm crazy. But it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, Nate. You're just getting spooked. Look 
Jesus. Why did he yeet that? What do we have here? Careful. Christ almighty. <laughs> Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. What an ass. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a perba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples, hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. Oh, the golden nice. passport, kid. So what are we waiting for? They're going to a BC music Let's festival. Get out of here. All right. See ya. Apparently. A tootly hoo. Let's get going. Chambala. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, this is going to be it. Let's see how far we have gone. 18 eighteen percent apparently. Okay. So we finished the first game and and did. Pretty much 20% of the second game, which is not a bad progress. Um, we shall continue with more on Thursday. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye!